Hello Nintendo Wii here, I just wanted to do a quick video review for this DSiWare game I just downloaded. It's called Dark Spirits and it's part of the Go series, which is a series of games that was released in Japan for the DS, um, available here for download on the DSiWare store. They're only short games, so I think they were budget priced in Japan, and now they've all been released here on DSi, so let's take a look. There's very basic menu, there's start, help, credits, and go back to the DSi menu. And on the top it shows you your score, your max level, and uh, your score for when you start the game, and it shows the time in the corner. Yes, I'm recording this at ten past one in the morning, but it shouldn't affect my gameplay too much. Here we go, game start. You uh, fly around as this vampire type person, and there's four spirits around you, and each of those spirits can absorb different power-ups. There's five different types, I believe. Um, that yellow one is electricity. And each time you collect a power-up, if you um, grab it by the same colour spirit that's in front of you, then it'll level up. You press the Y button to turn your fire, turn your shooting around. Press the X button if you want to do a attack that fills up the whole screen like that. Or press the A button if you want to do one that shoots straight across the screen. Um, the blue one is ice, so it throws blocks of ice. They can destroy blocks at the enemy's fire, which is quite handy. And uh, as I said before, if you go into the same colour twice, you can power up your special weapon. And on the top, all it's showing is the high score and what level you're on. Now this is the boss, you have to destroy these shapes that he throws at you and then try and attack the boss by destroying the diamonds around him. There we go, so that's the boss destroyed. Tells you how much percent of the enemies you killed, and you get a bonus for the amount of lives that you had left on the bottom of the screen. All the stages have the same background from what I've played so far, except level 5, which uh, hopefully I'll get to so you'll be able to see that. As you can see now, my um, attacks are getting more powered up because of all the power-ups I'm collecting. You just have to make sure that you pick the right colours. Uh, the music and sound effects are good enough. The graphics are fairly basic, but... For 200 points, I think it's very good. Right, this is the boss for level 3. I found this one quite hard, actually. You have to watch out for these things that fire lasers at you. At the same time as trying to destroy these diamonds. There we go, that's the end of level 3. As you can see, the backgrounds for the stage just stay the same every time. Um, the music's fairly good. It's only 200 points, so I think for the price it's definitely worth it. 100% complete on level 3. I managed to kill the boss, now let's go on to level 4.
Okay, this is level 5, the background changes on this level. Um, I haven't got any further than this, this is as far as I've managed to get so far, since I'm in the game. So I'm, I can't say whether any of the other levels have different backgrounds or not. This level goes straight onto the boss, almost immediately. If you um, let go of the fire button as you're moving, it lets you move faster, as you can see there. But I don't think they, it gives you much chance to actually let go of the fire button to use that. But I guess if you're trying to get to one place and you need to get there fast, then it's probably a good idea to use that. Also, I like using the ice power-ups because they can destroy the bullets that the enemies fire. Well, the yellow ones anyway, not, not the green ones. And that helps, um, obviously, easier to destroy everything if the bullets don't get in the way. Oh, he's nearly dead. The, the boss is, um, life's on the side. Oh, but game over. I wonder if retry. Oh, you can retry from this stage. This time I've decided to keep one of each power up. There we go, he's dead. Let's see if it goes on to level 6. Now it goes to stage 2, and then back to level 1. Uh, I presume it's the same level, just harder, harder enemies and more of them. And the background seems to have changed colour slightly, but it's still the same city, landscape sort of thing. seem to be filled up with ice power -ups. Not intentionally.
Yeah, and this is a repeat of the bus from level one. And so it repeats endlessly until you die, I presume. So, I think I'll end the review here. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment on the video if you like this. And um, I definitely recommend that you buy it. I mean, it's only 200 points. So, I don't know how much that is in pounds. Probably like £1 or £1.50 or something. Not much at all. So, definitely worth the asking price. So, there you have it, that was my quick video review. Um, I would definitely recommend it if you've got the points spare. That was Dark Spirits for the Nintendo DSi. Thanks for watching.